KG and Ringy Quick Hitter. Fish Attack. Spoiler alert, I didn't find a box of gold coins on this trip, but CB and I had a blast hanging out on the LP scuba dive boat last Saturday, and I managed to survive an underwater marine assault. It was over 100 degrees in Arizona, so we were loving the temperature drop once we got below 40 feet under the surface. Detecting wise, it was mostly environmental cleanup for me. Beer cans and lost fish and tackle, but it's always an adventure. On the first dive, I got a nice signal and poked it out of the lake bed with my Phillips screwdriver. I forgot my scoop, so I was just winging it. I put the lure in my dive pouch and swam off after grabbing what I thought was my screwdriver from its resting place on the rocks below me. After cruising the rock beds for another five minutes, I got another good signal, but it wasn't until I tried to dig it up that I realized I was carrying some random stick around with me instead of my screwdriver. What a maroon. I had to backtrack along the rock wall, but I eventually found right where I left it. So weird. Then on the second dive, I followed this big monster into a V-shaped crevice until I ran out of space and had to turn back. Once we got onto a shallower shelf, we swam around a bend and ran into some more swimming creatures, and that's when I was attacked. The big daddy fish of the group wasn't thrilled to see me, snapping his jaw at me like a black bear in the Montana woods. But before long, we were old friends, just hanging out, telling fish stories over some beers at the local underwater pub. Actually, there was no underwater pub. It was more of a school. Get it? Anyway, it was another awesome day in the old H2O. See you next time. Ringy out. Quick hitter. Hey, you want to see more detecting videos like this? Subscribe now. It's the Anaconda Treasure Channel right here on YouTube.